to share your uh, our experience. I use our and we in my presentation because uh, one reason is that I'm coming, I'm working for Estonia and e-governance academy, but I'm citizen of Tartu, so I'm just traveling between Tartu and Tallinn, which is usually in Estonia. And, and secondly, because I was uh, external expert of, of this process and I'm still am because it's it's just ongoing, it's just started in, in Tartu City. And I'm happy to see that there are so many common elements with actually with, with those cases just presented from Iceland and of course I'm sad that we haven't been so successful convincing our mayor to, to be published in, in so funny videos and clips but we, we, we do have uh, Oh, we did her publish some some videos as well, and and I want to share with you uh, just as I mentioned that it's just started. So I want to share more this preparation process and all fears and questions we have had when designing uh, this process for city government of Tartu, and there is in talking about e-participation, there are always skeptics and, and, and opponents who are saying that, that how can you, can you ask, for example, if we take this example of, of bridge, how can you ask citizens how to build a bridge? It should be asked from engineers. And of course, we, we, we shouldn't ask how, but, but where, this we can already ask from citizens. And in our case, we asked if you want bridge at all, or what do you want to be built in, in city government uh, or in city of, of Tartu? Oh. Oh, yes. So I'm covering, uh, so what? Just very briefly, I'm sure you, you know the term and notion of participative budgeting, just a couple of words. And where I'm just explaining why Tartu, uh, why, why, why it's specific, what kind of uh, requisites and, and, and previous practices and e-practices this city, city has. Why? So what were our, I mean our, by our again experts and as city, what were our goals to, to start this process? How we did this, how we designed this final scenario which is now carried on or put into practice and with what effect, we, we can't say of course final result or, but, but we can still uh, draw already some conclusions how, how, how city, citizens of Tartu have, uh, have answered us or our first, first experience and, and, and still we, we have the results of first phase. Uh, so participating budgeting being, being born in, in, in Brazil, in, in, in festival city of Porto Alegre, and spread now all over the world. More than 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 thousand uh, local governments have practiced this. But of course, we have to say that those models of or scenarios for for carrying it uh, it into practice are so different that that basically the one conclusion is that every city city has to find its its own way how to carry it. And and Tartu, its second uh, Estonian largest city, and and we were why we were quite optimistic uh, starting this process in Tartu, that city government of Tartu has already quite long history of, of carrying on different e-engagement and, and, and uh, participation projects. Like uh, one of those, uh, uh, lately uh, basically all planning processes are being already put uh, to online consultation for, for citizens or also using uh, QR codes and all, all different options uh, to attract citizens' interest and, 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 and young citizens' interest. And one, uh, it shows here very weirdly, it's, it is cutting slides, but <laughs> I don't know. So how can, I, can we help, but this, this uh, next slide, which you, you see only halfly, is one, I think, one of very nice uh, success stories of, of city of Tartu, of uh, this one? Yes, this one, is uh, how they combined already a couple of years ago uh, social media and online environment for enga engaging citizens how to plan a better public transportation system in Thailand. So city government was, was preparing a public tender for having uh, uh, 
having new uh, enterprise being in charge of public consultation, but then they, they wanted to ask people where should be uh, new stops uh, and, and, and what's about shuttle, but then they started to think also that let's let citizens to choose what kind of visual uh, do you say want to see their, their buses? So they, they, they took uh, art school students uh, to visualize new buses and citizens uh, finally uh, selected the, the version we are having now. Of course, citizens are always a little bit more conservative, so we just have a little bit more modest version now driving all along. But still, it was very first nice try, and we realized that our citizens are really active. So we, we got more than 500 feedbacks and, and opinions at that time, and it was some years ago. So we were quite optimistic that this will work, that we should use online tools for participative budgeting this time as well. So our goals uh, starting this process were uh, really that, that, as was mentioned already in previous presentations, that citizens actually don't get very well, and we can't blame them, but they don't get very well the logic of, 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 of budget of, of city government. And also, in, at least in Estonian case, they don't get so well the limitation every, every city has actually to, to, to planning, uh, planning costs for, for next year. There is only tiny, tiny piece of playing ground with, with budget. So we, we were thinking that if we let them into the process, uh, into the process deeply, that they will understand also the process. Of course, we, we wanted to know the exact problem areas, uh, not geographically only, but also are there, uh, I don't know, streets and pavements as in case of South America, but of course we, we, we expected that there, there will be a uh, reason uh, different problems what we or as officials wouldn't even, uh, even think about. And of course we wanted to increase collaboration of different groups and, and, and make kind of in positive way competition between areas uh, of, of, of city that we were thinking that if some area is seeing that, that there are so many nice ideas coming from one area that motivates also the other areas of, of city to be more active as well. And of course, participative budgeting, or at least that the way we were uh, designing it, is, 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 is one a nice way to, to, to show really quite quickly the real outcome. So as uh, just saying already ahead that we were from the very beginning of the process in Tartu, we were deciding that it should be uh, one part, small part of investment budget, so it will be one concrete object or two free if this uh, money allows. So these were our main starting points to, to, uh, to start this process. Uh, and how? So in March uh, 2013, uh, the working group was consisted. Uh, there were members. Uh, uh, one very uh, important point is really that city government of Tartu decided uh, to hire uh, external expert. It's, it, it was also somehow to cut, cut, cut risks. And, and of course, I must uh, say that this timing was not perfect. Elections. We will have now in two weeks' time uh, local elections in Estonia. Of course, already in March, uh, opponents and, and uh, uh, already in this working group, uh, there were also invited. There were invited also all members of, of representing uh, fractions of, of all city government, city council uh, members or members of, of those parties uh, represented there. And of course, uh, opponents started uh, blaming that, of course, it's a nice way to show leading, uh, leading city government before elections. But somehow, this external expert, as we were cutting this, uh, this accusations quite nicely. And secondly, this, uh, this was also a good point that working group was really consisted of all, of all different uh, representatives of, uh, of different fractions. And now I'm seeing that in election rhetoric, 
every party is, is showing uh, himself as, as one of the uh, authors of, of idea of participative budgeting. So altogether, I think uh, now, now everybody tries to show this being part of this, what was also the main idea. So uh, our method of, of working out this scenario, because we started from scratch, I mean, we were sure that we should take some elements of all case studies uh, from all over the world, but, but definitely every city needs its own model. So, so we, uh, during a couple of working sessions, uh, uh, we, we designed together or tried to design together different scenarios. So finally we had on the table three very concrete but quite different scenarios. So one of them was giving more power to already uh, citizens associations, already already uh, gathered uh, associations or groups of people. Another scenar scenario was just giving uh, everybody, <coughs> every citizen uh, freedom to, 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 to set ideas and, and, and uh, everybody would, could uh, vote as well. And one scenario was, uh, was about picking one certain area and just focusing on there. Geographically, possibly that one year we are focusing on one area, another year. So there were different options. One was clear, we are going for investment budget and we are taking 1% of, of investment budget, which is in, in context of up to 140,000 euros. So very concrete amount of, of money. Of course, it was discussion point again, should it be, how big should this amount be? It can't be very symbolic because other way it makes all the process very symbolic or ridiculous even. But it can't be too big, it would be too risky, at least in, 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 in our context. So finally we agreed and this, and this final scenario was, uh, was built, I'm coming uh, to this on my next slide. And since June uh, 2013, Council, Council of, uh, of uh, City Government of Tartu approved this, uh, uh, this, this law basically binding uh, city council with the idea that, that whatever the final idea or decision will be, it will be voted by citizens, but, but anyway, the city council must then approve just this, this what citizens have picked. And so this is the final scenario. And now, as I said, we are just on the second phase of phase of experts. So uh, starting from August uh, 21st, we started to collect ideas of citizens. And for that, we used a special web page, uh, but, but, but just sub page of, of uh, official uh, city web page. And, and we must say that uh, citizens of Tartu proved that they are e-active instead of active, because we got just one uh, suggestion on paper and all the rest were, were just uh, uh, uploaded to this uh, website. So How many of those? 158 ideas altogether. Of, uh, and now we are on the face, and, and of course uh, this web page uh, allowed to see online every new, I mean, it was updated automatically so everybody could follow all the ideas. We asked, it was very basic formula, what, what we asked citizens, and everybody could, could, could suggest or, or insert idea, but I'm coming to this later, that voting, uh, voting is allowed only registered citizens of, of Tartu, uh, starting from 16 years old, so it's, it's, uh, there will be more strict regulations. Now is experts phase. Next week we, we have first expert meeting, and now experts experts are uh, all um, uh, representative of city government of respective uh, areas. So it it depend or we we saw we looked at the ideas and then we selected what kind of experts we need. And also outside uh, city government, there are also community leaders and involved so all together 25. And those experts provide now to all ideas, concrete uh, uh, evaluation of cost, if it's really uh, doable for this money, and, and also 
if it's not doable, why, what kind of, is it already, already in, in, in planning of, of, of city or somewhere, so it will be already anyway uh, realized. So, and this next, uh, next phase will be presentation of ideas where we are really gathering physically in one room uh, experts and also all, all authors, I mean not all, uh, so ideas can be, can be now put together, I mean there are overlappings and some of them are not qualifying, so I, I, I assume it's, 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 it's still on the work, but I assume there will be all together like 30, 30 uh, ideas, so, and they will be, uh, they will be then presented, I mean authors of so 30 ideas will will put, put together with experts, but this will be broadcasted online, or this event, and then uh, citizens of Tartu will have this voting phase, and then uh, then idea which go <coughs> uh, which gets most votes, or two or three, if this amount of money still allows, they will be realized. Just to show uh, or conclude, uh, just how much uh, we focused also on publicity because it's uh, oh, it's cutting a little bit, but first time we realized that we had to invest first time at least uh, more money to to really make public aware so we, pr we produced also videos and 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 used quite expensive places to promote the idea but but thinking that really first time you you have to be clear what happens with ideas and how and 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 asking or answering sorts of questions I, we must say that we are really quite surprised of, of E activism of citizens because because this uh, ideas presentation period was even still in, in summertime, August September. Or so people were really active, and I mean I was surprised of the quality of, of expressing those ideas and and describing them really deeply. I mean there were very nice ideas, uh, even very romantic ones, and we realized that one of Concern points of citizens of Tartu is certainly River Emayogi. What people are, are not happy that they can't arrive to the river river side, and then all ideas were geographically uh, spread all over the city. So our fear that probably one area will be dominating was was not true. true. So and, and different groups are collaborated. So I think my, my time is over. So thank you very much. And and you can have some questions mm -hmm. on this. Thanks, Christine.